question yeah this is the lengthy question even i try to give more explanation when will prd account when will prd account get hit okay so the blind uh, statement we can give that the prd will trigger when the standard price is maintained in the metal master record is different from the price in migo migo means price in purchase order because in migo you cannot change it right price during gr or ir ir i don't have to mention the purchase order in the bracket because in ir you can change the price so uh, direct statement you can say that uh, a material is standard price is hundred dollars and uh, po is created with 120 dollars and you posted then 20 will go for uh, price difference it's a direct statement okay coming to this case uh, prd directly it will come so standard price i think i don't have to explain because if the purchasing price is different from the material master standard price that respect to amount will go for price difference account that's a direct statement so let me give you that straightforward so whatever the remaining amount it will directly load on the uh, price difference account so this is what happens when it is a standard price material is hundred dollars price but PY is created with extra so now when will prd will come for the moving average price related things that is the little tricky one so now what happened at a high level what i can say during gr and it will directly so normally you have posted with gr you will not get any kind of price difference account during goods receipt okay so, but during invoice receipt you will get the entries just to avoid typing i already prepared these things uh, okay so now what happened let's take the case one and case two okay PO is created with 10 pieces and the per unit price is 20 dollars total PO amount is 200 dollars the current moving average price of the material is $20. So now the GR is posted against PO. So now the stock is 10 pieces and MAP is $20. So during goods receipt, there is no price differences because PO is also created for the same price. And like I mentioned that if there is a PO created with a different price also, we will not have any impact. So let's take it this same example okay same example if you take it with moving average price moving average price if you take the same example with moving average price material map is 100 po price is 120 so now what happened directly stock account 1200 debit there will not be any price difference so this is what happens with moving average price okay so moving average price whatever the extra amount it will directly load it on the stock account only that's why the map will be impacted and the map will become 120 so based on the map will be based on the total value by total quantity so standard price always prd will come but there is a special case where map also can give you prd that is the example i'm going to explain you now so po quantity and uh, same amount po amount is same and map is same so after you have done the gr there is no impact to map it is completed for the case one what happened you have received 10 quantity but you have consumed the total 10 pieces for goods issue for cost center or production order you completely consume the stock there is no stock in your warehouse warehouse stock is zero for that material okay 
whether pre previous stock nothing no stock is available your warehouse stock of that material is zero invoice is not at posted only this case you have to remember that during goods received for map you will not get any kind of uh, uh, price difference because you are first posting the gr but uh, now you are posting the invoice receipt the vendor has sent you the invoice receipt for 250 dollars means 50 dollars extra than the projected amount the po amount more than that 50 dollars extra is sent so now 250 dollars they posted invoice receipt system will check what is the stock of that material when the system is checking the stock it found zero so vendor account 250 credit it's very easy to find out because we are creating invoice receipt for 250 so we will pay 250 so vendor account 250 gets credit straight forward and uh, GRIR clearing account 200 debit because during goods receipt you got GRIR clearing account 200 credit so opposite entry you got it so remaining 50 generally what happens system will post on the stock account but to post on the stock there is no stock zero in that case it will go and post that 50 into price difference account i hope it is clear i will give you the case 2 then you will get more clarity so case 2 same kind of a po gr is for 10 pieces and uh, 200 dollars everything is done but you have consumed total five pieces for business purpose five pieces is in your stock okay map is still 20 dollars but stock is five pieces but you procured 10 pieces you have done gr for 10 pieces but before invoice received you have consumed five pieces for your business purpose now the same case 250 dollars 50 dollars extra amount you are getting posted so while posting what is happening vendor account 250 credit straight forward wrx 200 debit that also straight forward now the question is coming here you are posting 50 dollars for that po during invoice receipt for 10 quantity 10 quantity 50 dollars extra now system is checking that what is the stock of this material system has found five pieces but you are posting for 10 pieces so it will be like you are posting for 10 pieces 50 dollar but you have a stock of only five pieces maybe hundred dollars here then the price is not so you have a stock of five you have a stock of five pieces but i are you are posting for 250 dollar in that 50 extra 50 dollar extra so now system is trying to keep this 50 dollars for 10 quantity but it didn't find only 5 so what it what it will do 50 it will add here 50 dollars it will give for stock okay and uh, remaining 50 it will go for prd because it didn't have the stock to load complete 10 quantity so if it has a 10 or more than 10 it will just directly go and 50 it will go for inventory but it doesn't have so it has only 5 it added 50 so now what will happen 5 150 okay so 5 and uh, it will go for 50 dollars extra so it will uh, try to load on uh, segregate that one off of so it will go for 25 dollars here and 25 dollars here the so total 50 it is supposed to load if we have a stock you don't have a stock so that it had the so now 5 and uh, 125 dollar so this is your this is the current stock and value so the map will become 25 dollars so new map will be map will become 25 dollar 
PRD. So here I wanted to explain that when there is a fifty dollars extra is posted for ten quantity. This is quantity ten. These are amounts. So when you are posting fifty dollars extra, system is trying to post that fifty dollars on ten quantity, but it didn't find. It found only five. So it has loaded twenty five and twenty five. Twenty-five dollars on PRD and twenty-five dollars on stock. So when you post twenty-five quantity, no change because during invoice receipt quantity will not change. So the total has become one twenty-five and MAP changed from twenty to twenty-five dollar. PRD will be twenty-five dollar. That's why in this example, price difference account twenty-five debit and stock account twenty-five debit. So you can watch the video again. So, if you have sufficient stock, the entire stock will go and sit in stock account. If you have a partial stock, system will do the based on the pro rata. Like it will calculate how much stock is available. If you have seven, then system will send you thirty-five, and remaining fifteen it will post on PRD. So at high level, what I can explain is, if you have a stock, system will load directly fifty. So here I will just try to explain you. For example, if you have a stock of for example, if your stock is 10, then total 50 will be coming here. $200. If your stock of 10, then no more PRD. Ten and uh, two fifty dollars. Two fifty dollars. Still, the MAP will be twenty-five. Okay. So remaining all you can get just calculate it. Uh, no need to. Must, for example, if we have a case of ten during invoice received. Your stock is seven. Okay. Let's take it even numbers so it is easy to calculate. For example, if you say stock is seven, or stock is eight, then fifty dollars extra you posted, then system will take it forty. Forty dollars. And only ten dollar for price difference because eight quantity stock is available, but you are posting extra for ten quantity fifty dollars. So system will use quantity five. So you have a stock of eight, the stock account forty dollars, and uh, eight and the MAP will be always twenty five. You can observe that one. The MAP will be always twenty five. Price difference ten dollar. Okay. So I hope it is clear. You can watch that video again so that you will get better understanding uh, how system calculate during the uh, moving average price and the stock variances and uh, how can you handle it.